Hello students, my name is Chesi George, your professional accounting teacher. Before you continue with this video, please try to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Alright, now let's get started. In this video, we'll be looking at the concept of regression analysis, which is one of the concepts or in quantitative techniques in performance management. That is one of the quantitative techniques in performance management. Now let's quickly look at this simple illustration to illustrate the concept of regression analysis, okay? You are, you are provided with the following historical data in respect of a manufacturing company. You have been given the months from January to June, the output, the corresponding output for each month, and the corresponding total production cost for each month, okay? You are to estimate the regression equation. You are to estimate the regression equation. All right. Now, the regression equation is given as y equals to a plus b x. So take note of that. We have y is known as the dependent variable. Y is known as dependent variable. Then, x is known as independent variable, and uh, a is known as the constants or the intercepts the constants or the intercepts the intercepts okay lastly b is the slope or regression coefficient regression coefficient okay regression coefficient so the slope or the regression coefficient now to use the regression analysis to determine the value of y and x, okay, we first find the value of b by using this formula, n summation x, y minus summation x, summation y, alright, then all over n summation x raised to power 2 minus summation x in bracket squared. Then we now find a is summation y n summation y minus b summation x all over n. Alright, all over n. Okay. We are n is the number of observation. N is the number of observation. So in this question, our number of observation is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 6. All right. Now, based on this formula, we can create another table of solution, which starts from uh, our months. So we have January, February. To June, okay. Now our independent variable is normally the output because the cost depends on the output. All right, so you can represent that to be x, which is the our output. Then you will repeat all this. You repeat this 80. So we have 80, 90, and 110. All right. Then our dependent variable, that is the value of y, dependent variable, and that is represented by the total production cost. So we we'll repeat all this for y. Our y, we have a 1, 2, 0, 10, 900, and 12, 500. Okay? Then from the formula, we need x, y. Okay? From the formula, as you can see, we need x, y. Then we have x, y. We also need x squared. So we need x squared. So let's look at our x, y. x, y is just to multiply 80 multiplied by 10,200. Okay? You just multiply 80. Multiply by 10,200 and that gives 81600. You can pick up your calculator. 
90 multiply by this we give you 9810000 then 100 multiply by 12 100 we give you 1 million 210000 then 80 multiply by 10 800 gives 864000 okay then we have 120 multiplied by 13,700, and that gives 164,400. Then we have 1110 multiplied by this, we have 1375,000. Okay? Then if you pick, then x squared, you need to multiply this times, so that's 80 squared. 80 squared is nothing but 6,400 and 400. 90 squared is 8100, 8, of course, 100 squared is 10,000, all right, having done this, uh, we can also, uh, because with this question, we are going to look at uh, correlation, so to calculate correlation, I will give you the formula later, but let us just find the value of y squared, so, Let's take the square of all this. That is 10,200 times 10,200. From my calculator, I have 0, 04, 0, 040 million. Okay. Uh, this raised to power 2. Uh, I have a. Uh, we have 118810000. Okay. And lastly, we have. 12,500 that will give us this. Then you now take the sum, the sum of all this. Take the sum, you take their sum. Okay, so our x summation x will give us 580. Summation y will give 7200. Okay, please pick up your calculator and add all this. It's going to give you this. Then if you take the sum of all this, that is summation x, y, we give you 6,890,000. Summation x squared is nothing but 57,400. All right. Then summation y squared will give you 829,840,000. Okay. All right, now we can now apply the formula to find the B. Let's apply the formula. B is N, and what is N? N is N is 6, okay? Then we have summation XY. And what is summation XY? Summation XY, summation XY is 6890, okay? Summation x y then you write it all right six eight nine zero then going to the formula again then minus summation x summation y and what is summation x five eight zero summation y is nine seventy two hundred okay you say you multi you multiply and you write all right multiply by seventy two hundred then all over all over look at the formula again summation n summation x so what is summation x squared this is summation x squared 57400 our n don't forget is 6 our n is 6 so what do you have 6 in the bracket 57400 then minus x squared don't forget x squared is uh this is summation x then you square it summation x is different from summation x squared this is summation x squared this x into bracket square x into bracket square all right so you make use of this x not this please students should take note of that all right okay so when you manipulate this is going to give you from your calculator so a student at this level should be able to use his calculator
to get the value of 78. That's our B, 78. And that is the coefficient. That is the regression coefficient. Then our A is summation Y. Now let's go back to, our, so, to the table. This is summation Y, which is 70. All right? And from the, from the formula of A, summation Y minus B, which is the regression coefficient, summation X, all over N. Okay? So summation Y is... Uh, 7200 minus 78 that's B summation X that is multiplied by 580 then everything all over 6 and the answer to that is 4160 then the regression you know as it ends or therefore the regression the regression equation as required will be given as y equals to the regression constant and that is a a is the regression constant a is the regression constant okay which is a plus bx all right a is giving us 4160 plus B. B is 78X. So that is the regression uh, constant. That is the regression constant. Okay? That is the regression constant. Furthermore, we can calculate the correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient. Correlation co coefficient. Uh, to determine the extent of relationship between the, you know, between the variables, the extent of relation between x and y, between y and x or x and y, okay? And uh, the formula to that is R equals to N summation x, y minus summation x, summation y divided by the square root, open a bracket, n, all right, summation x squared, minus open bracket, summation x squared, then close this bracket, then open another bracket, we have n, summation y squared, minus open bracket, summation y, close this bracket, summation n. So this formula is used to find the correlation coefficient. So we want to look at the relationship. So looking at the relationship, when uh, R equals to my plus 1, it means there is a perfect positive relationship between the two variables. Perfect positive. It means as S increases, Y also increases. Okay? There is a perfect relationship. Okay, that is perfect positive relationship. But when uh, R equals to equals to uh, minus one, it means when it's equals to minus one, it means that there is a perfect negative uh, relationship, negative relationship. When we say negative correlation or relationship, it means that as X increases y will decrease okay y decreases that is a negative uh, relationship all right class don't forget plus one means perfect relationship that is as x increases y the dependent variable also increases but when r is minus one when you calculate this and your answer is minus one okay this means that there is a negative correlation Negative correlation means as X increases, Y will decrease. All right, Y will decrease. But when R equals to zero, it means there is no relationship. There is no relationship between the two. Okay? There is no relationship between the two. All right? So using the data, using this data, 
Using this data, we can just substitute all this in the formula, and you will have, you have, after substituting, you have this. Now, a student at this level, you should be able to get our R is 0 0.98. So 0 0.98 uh, indicates that, 0 0.9 indicates that uh, there is a positive relationship. Okay, there is a positive relationship. All right. Now you may also be asked to from this data to calculate coefficients of determination, and the coefficient of determination measures the goodness of the fitness in the regression analysis. Okay, what it means is that we want to be sure that the uh, changes in the dependent variable is majorly caused by the dependent variable. So to do that, we have R squared. Then you just take the square root of this, which is 0 0.98 squared. And that gives 